Good morning to the Greater St. Janet Church family, to our Facebook uh, fans, and to uh, my brothers and sisters everywhere. We're so happy that the Lord, the Lord has allowed us to come again. And it is the first Sunday in September. We thank God for it for allowing us to be here today. We want our members to know that on Sunday morning, if you uh, want communion, that we'll be here Sunday morning from 11 to uh, at least 12 o'clock. Anybody, uh, any members who desires your Holy Communion, that you can come and pick up your Holy Communion on Sunday morning. Amen. On this morning. Amen. Uh, we are asking that you bow your heads now. Eternal you God, our Father, we come now to ask our blessings upon us. We thank you, God, for another week's journey. And that you've been our God and you've been with us all week long. Our going out and our coming in, you've been right there by our side. So we thank you now, God, for keeping us. We pray for your world and your people all over this world. We pray, Lord, for this virus that is still in our land. We ask you, Lord, to continue to keep us under the blood. We ask now, Lord, that you remember the sick and the shut in, bereaved families everywhere. Be with us now, Lord, as we come for the next few moments just to bring a word of encouragement to your people. Uh, we ask that you be with us now in Jesus' name. We pray and ask it all. Amen, amen, and amen. My brothers and sisters, I want to use a scripture today coming from Matthew's Gospel. And we're coming from St. Luke, the 8th chapter. And we're going to look at the 15th verse. St. Luke, the 8th chapter, the 15th verse. And it is the messenger by. But the seed in the good soil, these are the ones who have heard the word in honesty and good heart, and hold fast and bear fruit with perseverance. Amen. 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 I, I, I want to talk about this morning. Stop making shows. Stop making shows. Amen. Amen. Stop making a show. Amen. My brothers and sisters, Jesus in his day, as he talks to his uh, disciples and talk to uh, the Pharisees here today, it said Jesus spoke to a crowd of his disciples and, and, and the legal expert, the Pharisees. Amen. And Jesus wanted to tell them some things about themselves. Amen. Yeah, when we read that uh, beginning at the first verse up at uh, the 23rd chapter, it talks about uh he says, beginning at the third, therefore you must take care to do everything they say. But don't do what they do, for they tie themselves heavy, pack, and impossible to carry. They put them on their shoulders for others, but are unwilling to lift a finger to remove them. Everything they do, they do to be noticed by others. Amen. In other words, Jesus is telling us here today that we've got to begin to stop doing things for sure. Amen. If it's ever been a time for God's people to be real and be really what you're doing. Amen. Uh, in other words, we've got to be able to practice what we preach. Amen. And so that's what Jesus is saying today to us. Amen. Many of us today, we are all about show. It says that a man, a, a wealthy businessman, 
he bought 13,000 antique books. The writer says, but he'll never read. Maybe not even one. But the book, books look good. And he had just renovated his house and because the book looked good, he wanted the book just for a show. Amen. He was focusing on the outward appearance and how pleasing it was to decorate his house and to make it look good. And all he did it was for a show. They said these were some expensive books. They were, they were antique books and beautiful books. But yet still, all he wanted them for was a show. And so Jesus this morning, uh, he, he, he wants us not to focus on the outward appearance. It can be pleasing, but God wants us to look at what's on the inside. Jesus uh, uh, rep reprimanded men of his religious leaders of his day because they did not practice what they preached. They were addicted to receiving praise and feeling self-important. Instead of opening up the kingdom of heaven to people, they shut the door in their face. Jesus said to them, all their works they do is to be seen by me. My brothers and sisters, the Lord called us to be, call us to be people, to, to be people of substance. Intersubstance. He called us to be people to have substance, not just outward appearance. Yeah, we 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 are to demonstrate the reality of the presence in us by the way we, our attitude and our humility. Amen. We've got to stop showing just appearance. But there got to be some things on the inside of us that comes out. We ought to be able to stop making show and, and be real about what we are doing. God wants us to have the proper attitude. God wants us to be humble and show humility. Amen. He said, who, he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. Amen. And in, in living for Jesus, my brother and sister, when you live for Jesus, our content is far more important than the cover. Amen. I don't care how pretty the cover of a book may be. Mm -hmm. But until you get in there and read the content, the cover don't mean that much. And that's what God is saying about us. We dress up, look good. Put on all of these different things. Got a beautiful apparel. But deep down on the inside, there's nothing. We're empty. We don't have any substance. So God is telling us this moment. Stop going around making a show. But be real in what to do. These, these Pharisees love to talk about the law. They love their position. When they're set up, they want to hear folk tell them all the good things about themselves. And you somebody. You hold a high office, but God not looking for that today. God telling us, stop making show and be real in what we do. 
We ought to be able to say to the Lord, let my will be lost in God's will. Ask no question, seek no place. Render unto duty glad, showing forth the, his truth and his grace. My brothers and sisters, if God controls you on the inside, you'll be genuine on the outside. And I don't know about you this morning, but I ask God to search me, Lord. Clean me up. Clean my heart up. Give me a new heart so I can be real, Lord, and be genuine. My brothers and sisters will know that we are a child of God. But too many of us are playing church, making shows, just doing things for a show. And in the end, we're going to lose out. But I ask you today to be real, be genuine. For the scripture say, all their work they do to be seen by me. Stop working and doing things for folks to brag on you. We ought to be bragging on God. You ought to be bragging on God. You ought to be telling him thank you for waking you up this morning. You ought to be bragging on God. Thank you for giving me health and strength. Thank you for making a way for me. God, I thank you for all that you do. All over, almost six months, and you've been our God through this pandemic. You've been our God. I'm glad this moment that I don't have to be phony. I can be real. And I thank you, God, for allowing us to be here and to be real. Show men and women, boys and girls, that it ain't about a show, but it's about the realness and what's on the inside of us. But what's on the inside will come on the outside. And so don't worry about appearance. Have a good heart. Love people. Do the right thing. And God will get glory out of your life. Eternal God, we ask now that you will be with your people now as we be. And close. We ask that you be with your people now during this week. Continue to keep us under the blood. Lord, we ask that you bless those that are going through this pandemic and having it. And we ask that you go with these family who lost loved ones to it. And we ask God that you just continue to bless us. Keep us, Lord. In Jesus' name. The name above all names. The name that at every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. We pray now in Jesus.